What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 15.6.1 to the general public a little under a month after the release of iOS 15.6. Now in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15.6.1, watchOS 8.7.1, and macOS Monterey. 12.5.1. But in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and discussing what's new in the software along with what to expect next. Now, starting off with the size of this update, you can see here, it came in at a very small 283.3 megabytes on my iPhone 13, which was coming from version 15.6. So expect a very small update if you are coming from that previous version. Now, if we check out the build number, if we go to our settings, general about we can see that the build number is 19 g82 and if we go down to the modem firmware down here unfortunately we do not have an update for the modem it remains at 1.70 0.01. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 15.6.1? And as you guys probably expected, this is mostly a bug fix and security focused update. I mean, that's expected. It's a double point update, a 0 0.6, 0 0.1, along with the fact that we're less than a month away from seeing iOS 16. So given both of those things, don't expect too much from this update or really any other update from here on out on iOS 15. We don't get any you know, battery percentage in the status bar like we got in iOS 16 or anything like that. It's mostly going to be security fixes and minor bug fixes from here on out. So with that being said, Apple did not publish any release notes for 15.6.1, which is pretty irregular. Usually they post at least something, you know, maybe even one bug fix or anything, but they posted absolutely nothing for 15.6.1, which is pretty strange. However, there are some very important security patches that we need to address, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. So first off, I want to talk about a bug fix that was apparently addressed in iOS 15.6, but I found that not to be the case. And that is the Safari bug where the tab may revert back to a previous page. So basically, if you go to your tab view right here, and if you go into another tab, it would not have your current open tab right there like it would go to this page right here previously like if i was on that page previously and now i'm on this page but if i went to my tab view went into a web page and then back to that tab sometimes it would go back to this page on 15.6 still even though apple said that it was addressed but now i tested it multiple times here 15.6.1 and it appears that it is finally actually fixed with this update. Also, if we go into our settings and go to general and iPhone storage, I noticed that this loads really, really fast now. So you can see on the iPhone 13 here, not super fast, it's not instant, but it is faster than it was on 15.6, at least for me, and I also don't get any false alerts like that my storage is full or you know any kind of UI bugs up here showing that my storage is more full than it actually is. So if you still have issues on the storage page right here, that should be addressed with this update. And I feel like I say that every update, but it actually should with this one, especially since we're getting near the end of life for iOS 15. Now, once I updated to iOS 15.6.1, you can see that we still have the automations bug right here in the verbiage where it says one automation are enabled on your iPhone. So that has been fixed in iOS 16. That was a bug in iOS 16 for a while, but it was just recently fixed, but it's still showing here for 15.6.1. So just a minor thing, but something I did want to point out that is still a bug. And then I did also get this splash screen right here for the App Store again. So it seems like Apple is really trying to push notifications for the App Store lately. Now, Apple did not mention anything notable in the release notes for 15.6.1, but if we go over to the security content page, we can see that Apple does mention the two security bugs that have been patched with this update, and both have been actively exploited. So that means that these have actually been used on devices out in the wild, and and we're able to maybe get people's personal information or get into their accounts, something like that. And that is definitely something you want to keep in mind and be aware of and update to you know stay safe from those. So the first one is a kernel bug. The impact, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. And you can see here the description is that an out of bounds write issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. And then we go down to a WebKit bug, which means that it happens inside of Safari. And you can see the impact is processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. And again, Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So two pretty important security patches here in 15.6.1. So if you are still on 15.6 or earlier and you're worried about your security, which everybody really should be, no 
matter how you know notable of a person you are, I would go ahead and update just to be safe from these kernel and WebKit bugs. Now, as far as performance and battery life goes, I did go ahead and run a Geekbench test here on 15.6.1, and you can see I got a 1701 on the single core and a 4042 on the multi-core. And if we compare that to iOS 15.6 on my iPhone 13 right here, you can see the scores. I did score higher on the single core, but slightly lower on the multi-core. So it's always interesting to see these results. It's not necessarily indicative of a better performing you know, software. I would expect the performance overall to feel about the same as it did on 15.6. And I would say the same for battery life. I would not expect any major jump in battery life if you had like battery drain or something like that on previous versions that could be addressed in this update, but I highly doubt it. I don't really think this update is going to touch the performance or the battery life. It's mainly just a bug fix and security patch update. But of course, for those reasons, it is advisable to update regardless of what version you're on currently. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So for the past few weeks, we've been going back and forth about whether or not we'd see a 15.6.1 or a 15.7. And of course, today we did see 15.6.1. However, that does not mean that a 15.7 is not still coming. So if we're going to see beta versions for iOS 15.7, I would expect those to come very soon with a release sometime after iOS 16 gets released, probably near the end of September, if I had to guess. So obviously not everybody's going to update to iOS 16 when it first comes out. So Apple is still going to push some security patches and bug fixes for iOS 15 users. And then as far as iOS 16 goes, if you are on iOS 16 beta right now, or if you're planning to update to iOS 16 soon, we should see the seventh beta next week on the week of the 22nd. And as far as the final release, we could see that potentially on September 12th. And I say that because we're just now hearing that the Apple event is set for the 7th, September 7th on a Wednesday, which is pretty unusual for Apple. It's earlier than expected, and it's also on a different day than normal, but it is coming from Mark Gurman and Bloomberg. So it is, you know, probably going to happen. And the iPhone 14 is allegedly going to release the following week on September 16th. So that means that we could very well see iOS 16 on the 12th, probably at the latest. We could even see it before the 12th. So we could see a beta 7 next week, beta 8 on the week of the 29th, RC on the 5th, and then the final the week after. Or we could only go to beta 7 and just go to the RC after beta 7. So we'll have to wait and see. I know that's a lot of numbers and probably pretty confusing, but of course, stay updated with my videos if you guys want to see you know the latest going on in the iOS 16 world. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 15.6.1. I almost forgot we were talking about iOS 15 for a second here, but that is 15.6.1, a very minor bug fix update. It is advised to update if you're on iOS 15.6, especially because you are going to get those bug fixes and there's really nothing changed from 15.6 to 15.6.1. You're probably not going to have any battery drain or performance drops or anything like that. So you may as well just go ahead and update regardless of what version of iOS 15 you're currently on. But anyways, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iOS 15 and especially iOS 16 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh,